In this video, we are going to talk about the main components of a Blaze King stove and how they're different from a regular secondary air stove that you see. So basically, if you look at it on the outside, we have a uh, bypass damper, we have a cat probe in here, we're going to show you the catalyst, and all the way over here on the back, we're going to show you how the thermostat, which is your draft control, works. Before we dive into the video um, and get into the nitty gritty of everything, uh, let's just talk about the basic how everything works. So this is a bypass handle on the side. This is simply there to open up the firebox to show, um, to let the heat and smoke into the chimney, to light the fire, reload the wood and stuff when it gets inside. We have on the side here, this is our uh, draft dial, which controls our draft, which is also connected to a thermostat, or the whole thing is considered a thermostat, however you want to look at it. The catalyst, which is inside the firebox, so in behind the bypass damper door, which is connected to our bypass handle, you'll see the catalyst and you'll see the cat probe. You can see me move this up and down. So this is the cat probe. The cat probe simply tells us if we're in the active or active range. And that's the gist of a catalytic wood stove by Blaze King. All right, the bypass. So the bypass handle itself uh, is actually removable. So it just fits on the stove like so. And this is in the, when you see it here in this position, this is the closed position. You simply pull on it and it opens. So again, when you close, so we're in the we're open position here now. We go to the closed position, you'll feel it go to here. This is not all the way down. You'll feel it lock and you can hear a little click. So you can actually feel this. If you look inside, the bypass is connected with the rod that goes all the way through. So you see that there's a little bit of adjustment on this kind of a screw stop that's right here. And this is simply how it works. This would be your bypass damper. So your bypass damper is a large piece of steel. It does sit on a gasket uh, right here, which seals the firebox. So this is all, and you'll hear this kind of creak and go. And you can feel it locked down. Next, we're going to talk about the catalyst. So the catalyst, you can see right inside of here. So that catalyst sits in the opening of the where all the gases and smoke and stuff would pass out through the stove once the bypass damper is closed. So that's a, a unit that's gasketed in. So if you watch, if you're looking through here, Josh, I'm going to pull this out. You can see this is out. So that is our catalyst. And basically, it doesn't come out that easy. This would be gasketed in. There's a, a thick gasket that goes right around the whole thing that holds that in place. Um, so with that removed, now you can see this is the older style ceramic one from this, but the newer ones are a uh, metal substrate, usually made of titanium. So this catalyst can range anywhere from 400 to 1700 degrees temperature, depending on how hot you've got the fire going. And you'll see it, sometimes it'll turn red, sometimes it will not. That's all dictated by this other piece. So this other piece that you're seeing right here, this is the cat probe. So basically it's just a, a thermometer that measures temperature, but, but it doesn't give us any information on this. So here you're seeing this is room temperature right down here on, on this beginning mark. And right here, when we go from the inactive range to the active range, this is around 400 degrees temperature. So it starts to climb really rapidly when it goes around uh, there. This will happen once you close your bypass damper. You'll see this start to get up into the active range and it goes down here in the hole that's in the stove, and that sits directly behind the catalyst. So when I put the catalyst in here, you can see the catalyst and you can see the probe. If I wiggle it, can you see that, Josh? There you go. So that's the catalyst uh, thermometer. So that's actually telling you um, when to actually shut the bypass. So the last thing that's here, this component is a little bit different. So this is our draft. So this increases uh, and decreases in our stove. Now, if you notice on this one, because this is an older model, we'll con consider this position right here, the one o'clock position, and all the way down is the six o'clock. There is a stop here and it's blatant. You can feel it, the actual dial stops. So this rod goes over to a mechanism that's over here. So this is our air damper. So here, this is the one o'clock position. This is the six o'clock position. Now, important note on newer stoves, a lot of the newer stoves now, the low setting is the three o'clock position, not the one o'clock position, which is completely off. So three o'clock, six o'clock, 
one o'clock. So there is a, a blatant difference between each one. Now, what's important to note is inside of here, there's, there's some kind of a bimetal strip, and this damper will open and close based on how warm it is or cold it is in your home. So as it gets warmer in the home, it'll actually close to a certain extent, and as it cools off, it will open up. One of the number one problems that we have is in the fall and in the spring when it's warmer outside, people often shoot for those long burn times. So it's, not, it's, it's well documented that these stoves can burn up to 30 hours long on a single load of wood. So when you shut this all the way down, the stove is relying on the house to cool off in order for this to actually open up a little bit. And what happens is, is when the house is really warm, it never gets the opportunity. So a lot of times wood ends up going out. So our, we go all the way down in our inactive range and it just kind of snuffs itself out. So it changes that regard. But if you're in a colder season, what happens is this tends to open because the house has cooled off and the air being drawn into the stove will actually open itself right now. So for a lot of people, a lot of our customers, what they find best is to operate the settings somewhere in the middle. So if you see, this is six o'clock. So we'll call it, say, the 430 position, somewhere around there. 430 is about half draft. So half draft on a 30 hour stove gets you somewhere between 12 to 15 hours of burn time. So for a lot of people, when they go to bed at night, they don't turn their stove down less than about half draft because when you're sleeping for seven or eight hours, you're going to be left with about a half a load of wood when you get up. So all you simply do in the morning when you get up is to turn it right back up on high if you want to get the temperature up a little bit warmer in the home. But oftentimes, because we're left on about a medium draft, which is that 430 position, then we often see that homes don't decrease in temperature overnight, unlike the secondary air stove counterparts who are all shut down all night long in order to uh, try to achieve a long burn time. So a good example of this is if you look here at our stove. So uh, we'll remove you over to that in a second and we'll show you. We'll see, the stove's got fully loaded down with wood. Um, the stove is engaged. If we look at our catalyst thermometer way up in the active range. So you can see we're way around. So we're over on the other side here. Um, so what I'm gonna show you right now is I'm gonna take it from zero to 60. So let's go from the three o'clock position to the six o'clock position just to show you. So there's not even any coals, like you can't see, if you look down in here, you can't see any um, red coals or anything. So I'm gonna get you to back up a little bit, Josh, so you can get a better picture. So if I open this up wide, you'll see. That's the six o'clock position. You'll see the wood pick right up the bottom first. You'll see all the air in the bottom of the stove pick up, or the coals in the bottom get from the air, pick up its color and change, and you'll start to see some color come into this. And you're gonna to start to see some flames eventually come up. It's important to remember that these stoves um, have about a 70% turn down rate. So they actually use 70% um, less air because of it, or they can, they can move that much, much less from open to closed. Whereas a lot of stoves don't have that much, 30, usually 30, 40% for a lot of secondary air stoves that are out there. So you can see how we're picked back up again and you see some flames coming around there. Glass will probably stay clean. The catalyst will start to engage and go higher as well. So the catalysts were way up in that range. So we wanna find somewhere. So let's move down to half draft. So this is what I'm calling that 430 position. So halfway between three o'clock and six o'clock is that position. So if you look at the same position on our cutaway stove here, this is our 430 position. The damper is, is up. So it's letting a little amount of air in and you can see how that translates to over there. Whereas when you saw the three o'clock position, so the three o'clock position, which is the old one o'clock position on the old thermostat is actually right here. So it's a little different, so it's flat. That's why you saw the stove black and nothing there. So thanks for watching this video. I hope that explains how Blaze King stove works a little bit better detail than you've normally seen. Um, if, again, if there's any questions, uh, you can approach us on our uh, website, timmaninc.ca. There's a contact form there you can use. If you wanna shoot us an email, uh, it's info at timmaninc.ca. And if you have questions, give us a call, 709-634-5934. And we're more than happy to help you with any questions that you have regarding a Blaze King stove.